Greetings. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my devotions. Grace and peace be with you. My topic for today is be slow to wrath. And my scripture reading will be taken from Ephesians chapter 4 verses 26 to 32. Be hungry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath, neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands the things which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Be ye kind one to another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. Here ending a portion of God's holy word, I honor it by saying, Glory be to God. It is never profitable to hold grudges against anyone, no matter what they have done. Unforgiveness is like a bitter root in our hearts, poisoning our thoughts and our decisions. We are to be like our Heavenly Father, willing to forgive all transgressions and eager to see our offenders be redeemed and restored. God is able to strengthen us and heal us of all pain we have experienced at the hand of another person. But He also requires us to forgive them the same way He forgave us. This is not a choice but a commandment as well. Because forgiveness, especially when the person doesn't deserve it, is one of the greatest demonstrations of love because that is what God did for us. The first step to controlling anger is to realize that the root of anger is pain. Everyone hurts sometimes. Our pain comes to us in a physical or emotional sense. Knowing and acknowledging this pain is key in beginning to heal from it. It takes wisdom to understand the importance of keeping peace with everyone in your life. Only a fool will take delight in starting quarrels and stirring up dissensions among people. There is nothing to benefit from strife. All it brings is pain, discomfort, and sorrow. Why would one want to live like that when you have godly wisdom? You will know when to confront and when to draw back. Godly wisdom will also help you confront a person in a respectful yet firm manner. You do not need to insult a person in order to get your point across. That is foolishness. We often find it necessary to insult people we think are below us. A call center assistant, a customer service, waiters, employees, etc. Every heart matters and the words you speak will either break or build a heart. Wisdom will guide you in speaking effectively without causing strife with another person. In Proverbs chapter 14 verse 29 tells us, He that is slow to wrath is of great understanding, but he that is hasty of spirit exalted folly. And chapter 15, verse 1 and 2 says, A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness. 
And verse 3 says, The eyes of the Lord are in every place beholding the evil and the good. But listen to verse 4. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. Do you know people who have anger management issues? Maybe they fly off the handle at the slightest provocation. Maybe they snap at you for the least little thing. Perhaps they exhibit road rage and yell and curse at the driver in front of them. It's difficult to be in a relationship with someone who cannot control his anger. Peace is not present in such a relationship and joy is seldom seen. Solomon says here that those who are quick-tempered invite folly or foolishness. Many times people who cannot control their anger end up in saying something they regret. They often ruin relationships and sometimes they even end up breaking the law. There are many people behind bars locked up for life who could not or did not control their, their tempers. On the other hand, this proverb, proverb tells us that those who are slow to hunger has great understanding. In other words, people who know how to control their hunger are wise. They are in control of their emotions and their words. They are able to to maintain their relationship and usually are able to stay out of trouble. Solomon indicates that the slow to anger way is the best way. Anger is an emotion that mostly causes harm, harm to yourself and others, harm to your heart and soul. Anger will often produce a sensation or feeling of intense rage that people describe by the common phrase of seeing red or making my blood boil. We have all felt it at some point or another in our lives towards someone or something. Many times anger manifests itself in regrettable harsh words or action towards the ones we love. Controlling our anger can be a difficult thing. Screaming, shouting, and telling someone what you really think of them can make us feel empowered over the situation while we are in the midst of it. That is until the rage subsides and you realize how much you have hurt the other person. We, have warned, we are warned in Proverbs to steer away from those who are easily angered because they will bring trouble and folly. Relationships can be scarred by the action of an angry person. While there is such a, a thing as righteous indignation, times when we ought to be angry, ungodly anger is sin and gives the devil a foothold in our heart and life, even like a beach head must first be secured by an army invading by the sea before a land can be conquered. Even so, the devil must have some space from which to conduct his assault. When we deny him that place or foothold, he cannot overcome us. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for another day. We thank you for your love, your mercies, and your grace. Father, we ask for your help to forgive those who offended us. Lord, I don't want to store up resentment against anyone because it will affect the way I treat them, treat others, and commune with you. Help me to follow your example, O Lord. Help me to be as forgiven to my offenders as you were forgiven to me. No matter how deep the pain in my heart may be, I know that you can heal me. Father, I ask that you heal my heart where it hurts and help me to find the strength to forgive and let go of any painful situation. It can become hard to think clearly when I am caught in tense situation. Father, I pray that if I am ever caught in a tough situation, may I think clearly, guided by your wisdom and not by my emotions or my feelings. May I always have it in my heart to want to be at peace with everyone, and may you help me live this out. I cannot do it on my own power. I know that maintaining peace with my neighbors is attainable through you, O oh Lord. 
May you guide me accordingly with your wisdom at the front of my mind. Father, help me to be slow to anger. Give me the wisdom to control my temper and think before I speak. I don't want to be foolish like those who are hasty of spirit. I want to be in control of my emotions and my temper so that I may not hurt myself or other people. Father, I pray for healing and change. Having a change heart full of grace and forgiveness is the best place to start overcoming the anger that wants to rise up from within. Father, help in Jesus' precious holy name, I ask. Amen. I hope you have been blessed today. Thank you for listening. If you are new to my challenge, to my ch channel, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. God be with you today. Have a productive and prosperous day. Peace.